Do you really need a fancy jig like this to install the side marker dots on a guitar neck? Not necessarily. Stick around and I'll show you how I installed the side marker dots on the four string bass guitar neck. Hey guys, if you value and appreciate the information that I share here on my Highland Guitars YouTube channel, consider supporting my channel by visiting eGuitarPlans.com and purchasing a plan for either building a guitar or one of the tools that you can use to build a guitar. And if you would like to help support the channel but want something more tangible, you can purchase a t-shirt from my merch shelf down below. Either way, there's links in the description. Normally, when I install fret marker dots, in the side of a fretboard, I use a special jig that allows me to precisely locate and position the holes that I need to drill. However, that jig is designed primarily to work with a 25 and a half inch scale length fretboard. And uh, what I have here is 34 inch scale length. So in order to use that jig, I'd have to create a new template. And I'm not really willing to do that at this point because I may never make another one of these bass guitars. If I decide down the road to make more of them, then I'll create a template to use with that jig. But for the time being, what I'll do is I'm just going to manually locate these holes. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to position them right between the top edge of the fretboard and the glue seam that runs between the fretboard and the neck. Now to do this, I'm going to need uh, a number of different supplies here. So I'll run through that really quickly. Uh, first of all, I'm going to need some masking tape, which I'll use to mark the position of the holes. Then I have a couple of awls. One is a needle awl and the other is a center punch. And these I'm going to use to actually mark where I'll be drilling the holes for the marker dots. I'm also going to need a pretty accurate uh, digital caliper here to position those holes. I'm going to need some thin CA glue to glue the, uh, the marker material into the holes. And speaking of marker material, what I'm going to be using is it's just a thin diameter uh, piece of uh, plastic and you can buy this from a lot of luthier supply stores and then I'll need a drill bit that is the same diameter as that plastic because that's what I'm going to be I'll use the drill bit to drill the hole and then insert the uh, plastic rod into it of course I'll need my drill to drill the hole and then when I glue the uh, the plastic rod in with the the CA glue. I'm also going to need some accelerant to help speed up the drying process. One other tool that's of real use here is a magnifying headset. Uh, this will let me see where I'm positioning the holes as accurately as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I do that here on this first fret. And that's basically going to be the same for all the others, so I won't bother showing all those except for the 12th fret because there's going to be two dots on the side and they're going to be positioned a little bit differently. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some masking tape here. And what I want to do is I want to place this masking tape right across the center of this top fret marker dot. And then, and I'm just eyeballing this. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because you, unless you were to pull out a ruler, you would never know if it was correct or not. And it will look visually perfect. So I'm just gonna line that across the top and then around down the side here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my digital caliper here and I'm going to measure the height of my fretboard from the seam where it's glued to the neck to the top of that edge of the fretboard and that's 0.19 inches. So what that means is if I'm going to place my marker dot right in that center between the seam and the top edge, I would have to divide that number by two which is 0 0.095. So I'll set my digital caliper to 0 0.095 which is a little tricky to do with these digital calipers. Although if you get close, then you're, you're good. And there we are, we're right on. So, and I'll tighten the set screw so that it doesn't move. Now what I'm gonna do, and this is where the, 
the headset comes in handy so you can really see how you're positioning the tape to mark the location of the hole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the digital caliper so that we are marking that midpoint and then I'm going to slide a piece of tape right up right up there so that we are right on that and where those two pieces of tape meet in that corner is where I'm going to mark the location of my fret marker dot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle awl and I'm going to place that so that the tip of the awl, the point, is right on that corner. And then I'm just going to make a mark right there. And then I can remove my tape. And hopefully you can see this on the video. There is a small dimple mark right there, but that's not big enough for me to guide my drill bit into. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my center punch, place it right into that hole, and I'm just gonna give it a divot. I don't have to slam it in there. I just wanna make it so that the hole is gonna be big enough for my drill bit to center into as I drill that hole. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my drill and I'm gonna place it so that the tip is right in that divot. And then I'm just gonna drill a shallow hole, probably no more than an eighth of an inch deep. The, the fit between my plastic rod and the hole is pretty tight. So what I wanna do is just take some sandpaper here and I'll just twirl the end around, kind of put a bevel on it so that it will slide a little easier into that hole. When you drill this hole, if you make a mistake and it isn't perfectly centered, don't worry. All you have to do with this type of marker dot that I'm using is you can plug it with just a short length of a toothpick and glue it in there with some CA glue, clip it off, sand it smooth, and then re-drill it and drill it into the correct position. So to uh, continue on, uh, there are a couple of other tools that I neglected to mention at the beginning. One is a pair of flush cut nippers, which I will use to snip off my uh, fret marker material after it's been glued in. And then I also like to use one of these cheapo art store plastic pallets. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my accelerator and I'm just going to pour a small amount into the center. Then I'm gonna take my CA glue and I have one of these cool little um, applicators at the, at the tip of this. And, you know, with, with all these tools and everything, I'll try to put links in the description below, but these are really handy for applying CA glue just where you need it. So what I'll do is I will put a drop, fill up that hole with some CA glue. Then I'm gonna take my length of plastic marker rod. I'll dip it into the accelerator and then I will quickly shove it down in there and it's going to set up really quick. So then I can just take my little flush cut nippers here and snip it off real easy. So I'll continue that way along this fretboard and do each of the frets. Um, and what I'm gonna show you next though is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna jump up here to the, to the 12th fret and I'll show you how I do that. It's basically the same process, although there's a bit more eyeballing going on because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my tape so that the edge is right between this marker dot and my fret slot. So I'll just kind of eyeball that and then wrap it around the side. I'll grab another piece and I'll do that from the other end. 
and wrap that around the side. Then I'm going to grab another piece of tape And if you're really good, you can eyeball the position at the center, but that's kind of tough to do. So I think it's better just to mark it with my digital caliper. So I will come down here and then I will mark right across those two pieces of tape. So then what I'm going to do is place my needle awl right in that corner, make a little bit of a mark there, then I'll come over to this side, do the same thing. Once I've installed all the marker dots, I can take a block of wood with some 220 grit sandpaper and just sand those marker dots flush with the surface of the fretboard. So I have all the marker dots now in, and that's basically the process I use for manually installing the side marker dots. Uh, it takes a little bit more work than the use of a jig. So, you know, I think in the future, if I decide to do more necks like this, I will make a template for my jig so that I can actually do this a lot faster. Well, I think that's all the time I've got for this episode, and I hope you found this technique for installing the fret marker dots to be useful. If so, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. In the next episode, I'm going to be sanding this neck in preparation for finish, so be sure to check that out. In the meantime, as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.